Hello, this is the trailer for The Incredibles by Pixar quite a while ago. Uh, I was wondering if the characters in this movie and in other animated movies breathe. And they don't. And actually the main reason seems to be that uh, the editing speed is so fast that uh, one cut after the other is typically less than a second, so we don't have to time to see a character breathe. So what I want to do now is I want to model a bed, I want to place a character in that bed, I'll model a duvet uh, which covers his body and then I want to animate the breathing. So this is quite a quite a sophisticated tutorial really which incorporates uh, lots of interesting things and we start with polygon modeling and a cube. This is going to be our bed i going to scale it like this, a little bit longer, like this, so maybe that's the bed, bed with the mattress. Uh, we need legs for the bed, uh, and for that reason we will introduce uh, more subsections here. We go to the mesh tools and insert edge loops. It's basically inserting new edges with a quite, quite a nice uh, user interface. So let's just use this menu, click drag on ed edges. So I just pick this edge here and now I drag it to the side so we have a new edge here. We want another one right here and now uh, I want one right here so I select this edge here and this is quite good and then now I select the same edge again or the opposite one and right here. You will see in a second why I need this. I select the faces now and I clicked here in order to exit that tool. Now I'm in the face selection and I select this face and shift select this one, shift select this one and that one and I just check. I only selected that the four at the bottom, just nice. Uh, I'm under polygon modeling here is the extrusion and I extrude just down the legs and since the um, legs of a, of a bed are usually not very long especially for a, a new bed, a new generation, modern bed, uh, this should be just fine. So I give this a, a nice shader, new material, Arnold shader, a standard surface shader Actually, I just changed its color to a light blue, like this. So this is our, our bed. It's qu quite shiny, so I turn the specularity down to zero. So that's fine now. This is the bed. Uh, the second thing is we need a character who sleeps in that bed. Uh, Windows, General Editors, Content Browser. And here under the modeling, sculpting base mes meshes, bipeds, I find several characters. One of them is the obese gentleman which I've used a lot of times. So let's use the human body now. He's a little bit thinner. Uh, gigantic of course because this scene currently is in centimeters and uh, the character comes into the scene in the dimensions of meters. It doesn't matter for this purpose. Uh, I just scale him down like this press the key F in order to focus him all right and just place him here. So I think this is about the same size as the bed, maybe just a little bit taller. When I place him in the bed now, this would be perfectly all right, but uh, in order to place him with uh, not the standard pose which he has now, I need to rig him. And I do this uh, very simply by going to rigging here and under Skeleton I have Quick Rig. So with a character selected, who is actually not a character yet, it's just a piece of geometry which represents a gentleman. So uh, I click on Auto Rig and now uh, he will receive a skeleton quite automatically. This is new I think in my 2017 or 18, uh, so just wonderful. It, um, it, nothing has changed except for all these complicated things here. Uh, I think when I pick the reference I can 
rotate him. Yes, I can. And actually, I undo this by pressing and holding J, the J key. I can uh, rotate him in segments of precision. So the he's uh, 90 degrees now uh, lying on the bed. And also, he's too little for the bed. So I can scale him now, all with a quick rick control reference. So the whole skeleton moves uh, and scales with him. I think this is quite all right. Still a little bit bigger like this. So I think he will easily fill the bed now. OK, uh, so he's lying in the bed all right already. We can position him now a little bit better. Uh, just uh, just a little bit uh, manipulation here. Well, we can go to the knee here, for example, and move the knee up. No, it doesn't work. We need to uh, give the knee more space right here so we can move this here. We can rotate the the foot so it's kind of there. And um, we can, well, this can be stretched all right. We can rotate the hand so it lies on the, on, on the, on the bed flat, help with the arm a little bit, and this arm we can move inside just like this and lower down and stretch it. I'll lift it up again and maybe here at the shoulder we can lift the shoulder a little bit, whatever. So this basically he lies there and he's sleeping peacefully. Now, uh, the next thing is we need a pillow for him, a duvet. And uh, the you can do it in several ways. One very simple way would be this. Um, a polygon sphere. I rotate it with the key J. J, hold the key J and rotate it. You, you will reach a uh, 90 degree angle here. Now you scale it longer like this and you already have some kind of duvet now which you can put down on him and yeah looks all right i'll show you another way to create a duvet so let's delete this uh, be, but before that i want to get rid of all the skeleton stuff here uh, so what i'll do is i select the, just the skin that's a human body and i duplicate it control d and that's the that's the object I'm interesting in uh, in, interested in. So uh, I hide all the rest H. So I have a pretty clean scene now. Uh, and I also give him uh, another shader, new material, Arnold, and standard surface. And where is it? Right here. In the presets, I have skin. And I replace it by skin. So uh, when we create uh, a light now, a sky dome light, which wraps around the whole scene, and I render it, we have um, a character lying on a bed with uh, the little uh, graininess here comes from the subsurface scattering. Basically, all color of this character comes from subsurface scattering. Quite an interesting shader. Uh, we need a higher render resolution in order to get rid of the. Uh, pixels here but it picks up a uh, blue color from the from the bed of course so this is um, this is a good starting point now uh, back to the duvet I delete the sky dome shader uh, by uh, creating a NURPS duvet we start with a circle press and hold the key J again and rotate it by 90 degrees so that's quite perfect now we'll move the circle back here and down here and we'll scale it like this. The basic resolution of that uh, circle is quite all right. When you right mouse click and uh, show the vertices it's uh, I think it's 10 or 8 uh, which is perfectly all right for this purpose. So back in object mode uh, this is not exactly our starting point. I'll show you the starting point in a second. But we duplicate this and move this to the feet. 
Uh, at the feet, we might need a little bit more lifting like this, or just about scaling like this. We duplicate this again, move it to the top of the uh, knee here, scale it again, scale it in this dimension, move it up a little bit like this, and we duplicate it again like this and shrink it a little bit like this you can move it down a little bit duplicate it again this looks quite fine and we duplicate it again and move it here to the head and what we'll do now is we'll scale it down several times until it gets totally flat and we do the same with the first one that one we duplicate it move it to the back and scale it down it's not scaling uh, all the way down in uh, because it would go in the other direction just do it several times here from one direction and you get a flat curve. So basically with this uh, whole set of curves here, this one can be a little bit lower, we can start creating a loft. So let's select them in order. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the final one seven and under curves and surfaces you have this icon which creates a loft so we have the blanket here it already looks quite nice you see it's black because the surface and we need to go to modeling for that purpose the surface is uh, reversed uh, the gray is inside so to say we just reverse a direction so we have that very nice duvet now uh, with uh, our simple sculpting tools well not sculpting modeling tools uh, i wanted to you to focus on the on this curve here uh, we can pick the components and now i can move this cv which is actually two cvs slightly up like this That looks good and I do the same here just move this down you can use the arrow keys in order to do this a little bit more precise like this I'm moving from one to the next and out here so this is just a little bit more sophistication here for the for the blanket still can see his arm but uh, this is this is uh, doesn't is not necessary because we'll probably render it from the from the top anyway so let's give the duvet a color now new material Arnold shader standard surface shader and make the duvet red orange like this so when we create a sky dome light, that's the light I just deleted, we have this impression now of our sleeping character with a lot of grain in the head because of the subsurface scattering. Now finally, we want to make him breathe. How do we do this? Well, there are several ways to do this. Um, again, I want to pick the the circles and select the top components here the ones here I can move them up like this and already I get a breathing uh, situation I don't need this one because the, the lungs uh, and the and the belly are more or less in this area here so this is what I'm gonna animate only the two of them here actually I can press 
B in order to get a soft selection, so the surrounding CVs move a little bit together with the rest, but that's what I'm going to animate. For a sleeping person you will typically find that three seconds is breathing in and three seconds is breathing out, so six seconds, so that's basically 150 frames. So uh, let's increase the frame range to 600 and at frame number one we we'll start to make him breathe by pressing the key S. So we have a keyframe for these two CVs now. Uh, and we go to 150 and set the same keys here and we go to 300 do the same. We don't have to be very precise here. So 450 is the next one and 600 is the next one. So he doesn't breathe because we just set keyframes for this position here. But we can go to the middle now, like 77, and lift it a little bit up. We can also rotate it a little bit like this, if we want, and set another keyframe. Now this is important. We want to transport this keyframe from here to there. You do this by clicking and holding the middle mouse button and drag in the keyframe right here. And uh, it's not visible here, but uh, when you press S now, you have it here. And you can change it a little bit, maybe rotate it like this, and set another keyframe so it's right here. So we do the same thing, middle mouse drag it over here. And let, the, let him breathe a little bit more. Set a keyframe by pressing S, and do the same right here and moving it a little bit more down and maybe this direction and press the key S. Now what we'll do now is um, we'll hide all the curves and have a look how the breathing process goes. To frame 0 and this is what I wanted to show you. A breathing person A person who sleeps and of course breathes. And I think in a professional computer animation you need the breathing here because nothing else happens. Bye bye.